What's up guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel and I'm so happy and delighted that you found today's video. In today's video, I'll be talking about what self-love is. Yes, in today's video, I'll be talking about 10 powerful self-love practices you need to start inculcating into your life for a happier life. I'll start by defining what self-love is. Now, what is self-love? Self-love means having a high regard for your own well-being and happiness. Yes, you need to have the high regard for your own well-being and happiness. It also means not sacrificing your well-being and happiness to please people. Yes, you need to, of course, help people, but you need to also prioritize your own well-being and happiness when relating with people. Which means that if you're a chronic people pleaser, you are not practicing save love if you have to please people or if you have to work for people at the expense of your own health or at the expense of your own time or at the expense of yourself then you're not practicing self love because you need to love yourself you need to treat yourself well before you can actually help other people which means that for instance as a youtuber I need to read well, I need to read far and wide before I make a YouTube video. Do you understand? So it means that having an eye regard for your own well-being and happiness and not sacrificing it to please other people. For the importance of self-love, it gives you a high self-esteem. You have a higher self-esteem when you practice self-love. When you practice self-love, you feel good about yourself. And in the same vein, people also feel good about you. Because if you want people to feel a certain way about you, then you also need to feel a certain way about yourself. So it gives you a higher self-esteem. It keeps you internally motivated. When you set a goal for yourself, you are practicing self-love. And so you know that you need to stay motivated to achieve that goal. So it keeps you internally motivated. The important of self-love is that it also gives you a stronger determination. Stronger determination and internal motivation are almost the same thing. So when you set the goal for yourself, it gives you a stronger determination. Or when you've achieved the goal before, it, it restates in your, in your mind a winner's mindset. And so because of that, you can set another goal and tell yourself that I will achieve this goal because I've achieved something like this before. So it gives you a stronger determination. Another importance of self-love is that it enhances your productivity. When you set a goal for yourself, then throughout that day, you'll be productive. Because you know that, okay, setting a goal for yourself means that you're practicing self-love. And because you know that you need to achieve this goal, then it keeps you productive. It keeps you productive all day because you need to do things that would move you towards achieving that goal. Another importance is that it gives you a better mental health. Yes, self-love gives you a better mental health. So let me know what you feel about what self-love is. What does self-love mean to you? Kindly leave it in the comment section below. What do you feel self-love is? Leave it in the comment section below. Then we have keys to self-love. Yes, keys to self-love. The first key to self-love is that you need to be totally single. It says that the most important pursuit in life is to be totally single, which means that you need to love yourself. You need to appreciate yourself before you appreciate others. You can't claim to love others if you don't claim to love yourself. So the first pursuit in life is to be totally single. Love yourself. Get to know yourself before getting to know other people, before getting to love other people, because you need to love yourself plenty before you can give your love to others. So get to know yourself and appreciate yourself before you can get to love other people. The second key to self-love is that the most important relationship in life is not interpersonal relationship, but intrapersonal relationship. It's not the relationship that you have with others, but the relationship that you have with yourself. So the most important relationship in life is the relationship that you build with yourself. So you need to build a relationship with yourself before you build a relationship with others. So get to know yourself, get to know your strengths and weaknesses, get to appreciate yourself before you get to appreciate others. Then we have some self-love practices that you need to inculcate into your daily lifestyle. Yes, these are some self-love practices that you need to inculcate into your daily lifestyle. And the first one is that you need to build a relationship with God. Yes, you need to build a relationship with God. Matthew 22, 36 to 40 describes Pharisees, Sadducees, they came to ask Jesus and they asked him that, oh, what is the greatest commandment? And Jesus replied by saying that the greatest commandment is to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And then he went further to say that, then you need to love your neighbor as yourself. It says that to love God with all your might, then love your neighbor as yourself. 
which means that the same degree to which you love yourself is the same degree to which you will love your neighbor so you need to build a relationship with god when you know god for yourself when you understand god you understand his nature then you then you get to understand yourself too and then by understanding yourself you can also get to love others so know god know yourself and then know others the second form is self-acceptance yes accept yourself the way you are if you are gentle or if you are loud accept yourself the way you are because self-acceptance comes as a result of self-discovery when you discover yourself when you know who you are then you get to accept yourself you get to accept your strength and your weaknesses because whatsoever god calls for it builds inside so if god has designed your purpose definitely has designed your attributes has designed your emotions the kind of lifestyle you will need to fulfill that purpose so you need to accept yourself the way you are accept yourself the way you are and stop looking onto others then you need to practice positive self-talk yes you need to practice positive self-talk every morning when you wake up say good things about yourself oh i am beautiful oh i am great oh i am this i do that every single time when i go out i say to myself i am beautiful i am great i speak well i talk well i relate to people well and i see it manifest in myself i tell myself people will feel good around me and people will like me and that is what i see at every point in time but before that you need to be careful of what enters your mind because what enters your mind defines how you see life and also defines what you see so you need to manage your mind well yes that's a series of mind management you need to manage your mind well and then you need to say positive things about yourself then you need to embrace your uniqueness and individuality we are all unique and we are all different you need to embrace your uniqueness and individuality and not try to copy other people because when a thing is unique and rare people tend to value it more so you don't want to be like every other people you want to be different you want to be who God has created you to be so you need to embrace your individuality and uniqueness you don't have to copy other people just be yourself yes people tend to value those who are themselves for instance you tend to value diamond and gold because you do not see it everywhere so be yourself be unique and be different then you need to see mistake as an avenue to grow and change your character you need to see mistake as an avenue to grow and change your character don't beat yourself up because you made a mistake see it as an avenue to grow and change your character for instance something happened some days ago where because I interned at a radio station and so I was in charge of the console I was the one who was producing you know the radio programs and all so I loaded down some songs and left the studio without appropriately communicating to people to take over and so the song stopped playing at some point in time which led to some chaos and all to which I didn't know about then when I got back to the office my bosses started talking and you know reprimanding me at first I wanted to feel bad but I just realized that this is a mistake and it can be corrected so you need to see mistake as an avenue to grow and improve your character then you need to develop your own personal values yes values guides our beliefs you need to develop your own personal values as a human don't just live without having values develop your personal value for instance you can value knowledge to ignorance you can value knowledge gaining knowledge instead of pursuing ignorance so develop your own personal values and develop your own personal values basically because your values determine your attitude towards life so develop your own personal values then you need to have a self-concept of yourself yes have a self-concept your self-concept is your image about yourself for instance men see themselves as better drivers than women yes when you're driving on the road a man sees himself as a better driver in fact every driver sees himself as a good driver so you need to have your own self-concept how do you see yourself this is different from the way people see you how do you see yourself have a self-concept for yourself have a self-concept for your life what do you see yourself as how do you see yourself what do you think you are so have a self-concept for your life because if you don't have a self-concept and value people will give you their own value and self-concept of you as a result of their own opinion and people's opinion are always wrong so see yourself through the light of god's word and don't see yourself through the light of what people are saying all around you have a self-concept for yourself then you need to embrace knowledge yes embrace knowledge as a knowledgeable person is well respected in the society and increases in self-confidence yes you need to embrace knowledge when you place value on yourself you embrace knowledge a self-assertive person someone who feels that he has something valuable to offer the world so if you feel you are self-assertive you need to embrace knowledge because no i have something valuable to offer the world and people need to listen to me so embrace knowledge read far and wide 
Then you need to stop comparing yourself with what with others and start comparing yourself with what God's word says about you. Compare yourself with what God's word says about you and do not compare yourself with others. And the last point here is that you need to start valuing your time. Yes, value, value your time. Time is a gift and you need to value it well. And value your time means that you are practicing self-love. Value your time means that you place so much value on yourself that you feel that you need to plan your day. You need to plan your day. When you plan your day, you are practicing self-love and also placing a lot of value on yourself. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you gained something from it. If you gained value from this video, kindly give me a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel and also leave a comment below. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.